Okay, I just want to go through setting up a new model on the jetty, so um, power it on, we'll hold the power switch down for a couple of seconds, it comes up on the screen. Do you want to start the transmitter? Yes, we do. Uh, I've got a greeting message on there, you can do whatever you like with that. So just press the menu button down the bottom, we're going to model, we'll select a new model, and then the first thing we're going to do is give the model a name. Very important to do that, so we'll just call this um, um, demo. D E. Just wind the rotary knob around. Press the button. When that's OK, press the OK button. Then we go and select the model type. So in this case, it's going to be an aeroplane. So we'll select the aeroplane. Then you'll notice there's some arrows on the screen. So at the wing type. Press that zero flaps. So we want a standard wing with two aerolons. So we select the two aerolons, zero flaps, two aerolons. Tail type. We'll go for um, a normal tail type. If you want to have a um, a tail type with um, elevators and it's all there. So we've got normal tail type here. Um, elevons. So it gives you the full menu of what you need to look at. So we'll just set up for uh, a normal tail type. Normal two servos come down and then we're going to press the button again and then that gives us our function control so it tells us in uh, on the screen just exactly what uh, stick functions and switch functions we have set up so in this case we have um, our aileron set up on P1 which is this uh, so we move our aileron stick and it's giving us P1 we move our elevator stick that's on P4 rotors on P3 and throttles on P2 so um, once we're happy with, um, with all that um, we then want to turn around and go to the next page and it gives us our servo assignment so these are what channels the servo assignment is, um, is the radio has placed the servos on um, pretty straightforward there press the arrow again it comes up and asks you to create and activate the model you do that and basically you're set to go um, it brings you to the servo setup area so your throttle um, you can page down through that and you can see to set up your throttle endpoints, your maximum positive limits in mixes, reverse it, delay in the negative which you don't want to worry about that. And there's servo balancer, you can see that moving across the screen slowly and this allows you to uh, put all sorts of curves and things in if you want to balance it off with something else. If you notice on the screen you've got some um, highlights down the bottom down here, if we look at this servo with the eye, that is our receiver output. So it's, it's giving us in, in the old language what some people would seem to be a, um, a servo monitor. So that basically gives us, there's our two aerolines working, there's our throttle working up and down, there's our elevator working on the two elevators we set, and our rudder working. If we turn the page again, it gives you the percentage in which they're working on. And if we turn the page again, it gives you the pulse outputs uh, of those particular channels. These are all handy when you're matching servos and doing things. Um, so if you OK all that, press the escape button, you go out of that, then you're back to uh, the start screen. So what we want to do now is we want to um, bind a receiver to the actual um, transmitter itself. So what we need to do is turn this off. So we'll just shut it down.